Hey guys, what's up? Killjoy Jake here, and instead of having friends, I have horror movies. As you can see, I'm working on my Scream collection a little bit here. I just bought the fourth film, I had the first one on Blu-ray, now I just need two and three on Blu-ray. And as I was buying that at some point today, lo and behold, we have some Scream 5 news that I know all of us have been waiting to hear. Now before I get into that though, I'm gonna need you guys to like this video and subscribe for more horror content. Alright, now let's get into it. What's your favorite scary movie? Well, sometimes. There are other entities who are malevolent and have a more insidious agenda. I say this with such excitement, guys. Nev Campbell is officially on board the Scream 5 train. I am so I've been wanting to report this for a minute now. It's been it's been a long time. I just talked about it in my last video. When is Sidney Prescott gonna be in the movie? Well, now it's confirmed! Hell yeah! The announcement just came out at the time that I'm filming this in a little statement from Radio Silence. Radio Silence said in a statement today, we're pinching ourselves. It's hard to express how much the character Sidney Prescott shaped our love of movies and to have the chance to work with Nev is truly a dream come true. It just wouldn't be a Scream movie without Nev and we're so excited and honored to join her in Woods that's the truth right there guys. It would not be a screen movie without Sydney Prescott I'm so excited that she's gonna be on board. We have the main three guys We got the three main characters from the all four films all coming back for this fifth movie Even though we're probably not going to be following the main three characters Which is kind of what everyone is speculating that we're going to be following like a new set of characters for the fifth film It's still going to be exciting to have these characters on the sidelines But maybe we will get a scream five that follows these three main characters in the middle of yet another ghost face trying to murder them Nev Campbell even gave her blessing to the project saying after spending time speaking with radio silence they have shown such love respect and admiration for Wes Craven and all that he's created in the Scream franchise. I am beyond excited to step back into the role of Sidney Prescott and return to Woodsboro. The one thing I really want to see in Scream 5 is I really want him to do something crazy different. Scream 4 attempted to do that and that's kind of why I got it up here right now because I, I really want to talk about why Scream 4 kind of missed the mark in a lot of areas. Scream 5 can be really successful Successful if it doesn't make the same mistakes that the fourth film made. Scream 4 tried to reinvent itself by making fun of remakes, which totally cool, that's great, but it overdoes it so much. The movie just doesn't seem to end. Like the, the biggest problem with Scream 4 is the ending. It just won't end, man. It, like you just you just keep going, you keep going, you keep going. In the remake, we have to do it this way. They even like they keep saying that out loud. It's like, okay, meta humor's awesome, but like you're going too far into it, man. With Scream 5, I really want them to make fun of like what is going on in the horror scene right now. That's what this franchise is great at, but just not to go overboard with it. From the character lists that I talk about in this video up above, it seems like this film is going to have like a lot more different settings. For example, Costco is one of them, which I think would be pretty cool to see Ghostface running up and down the really tall aisles at Costco chasing somebody. That's gonna be a cool scene if they decide to put that in the movie. But I just, I need to see some new stuff. I don't want, I just don't want the same old, oh it's a mystery again, it takes place in the same old town, and we just have new characters. Like we got, let's do something else, let's do something else crazy with it, change up the setting here and there. We're gonna be at a big grocery store in this film. Okay, that's cool. I like that. That's a step in the right direction. Let's keep going down that route of making things new without changing the tone too drastically, kind of like what happened in Scream 4. I know I'm dissing Scream 4 right now, but it's arguably my favorite Scream sequel too. So are you guys excited about Sidney Prescott returning for Scream 5? Leave me something about it in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching my video on Scream 5. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more horror content. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at KillJoyJake1 and on Instagram at KillJoy_Jake. And as always, don't forget to kill it out there, y'all.